Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online and also teach you how to become a work from home freelancer. So a lot of my subscribers are interested in becoming YouTubers and making money online as a YouTuber. And many of you have your own YouTube channels. But if you're finding that you're not getting a lot of viewers and maybe you've decided you want to try to create a new YouTube channel or transform your current channel into a different channel with a different niche. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can rebrand or restart your YouTube channel and use some free AI tools to help you do this. So I have an old YouTube channel that has about 1600 subscribers more or less, and I'm not really doing much with it. And I've decided I want to rebrand the channel into something different. So I'm going to show you the steps I'm going to take to do this. First, we're going to talk about whether you should restart or rebrand your channel. And when I say restart your channel, I mean if you should start a brand new channel with zero subscribers and create all new content, or if you should take your current channel and try to keep those subscribers and have them be your new audience for your new channel. We're going to talk about how we can use AI for new channel name ideas and branding. I'm going to teach you how you can create a brand board for free. We're going to use some free AI tools to create a logo or profile picture. And then we're going to create a new channel banner and some matching thumbnails. And I'm also going to show you how you can reorganize your content, playlists, and more. So you're going to incorporate your new content with your old content. I'm going to show you all of these things in this video. So let me first show you my old YouTube channel that I'm going to rebrand. So this is a channel of mine. It has almost 1.6K subscribers. You can see there's been almost 5,000 views and I only have a few videos. I was excited about this channel, but honestly, I'm doing all of these kinds of tutorials on my Jennifer Marie VO channel. So I want to transform this channel and do something that I'm passionate about. So should you restart your channel or rebrand it? Now let's say I want to do a channel all about animals and farm life. It would be kind of a hard transition to get these subscribers to be excited about watching life on a farm when they have subscribed to my channel because they're interested in technology in creation and design. So in that case, I might consider restarting a channel. It's an easier transition if you're rebranding, if you're changing your channel into something that's somewhat similar to what your original niche was. Let's say you only have 10 subscribers and a bunch of videos that aren't really relevant. You know, why not just start fresh? However, if you're like me and you have this many subscribers, it's worthwhile to rebrand the channel because I already have a little head start and getting the first thousand subscribers can be quite difficult. So once you already have it, I don't want to lose all of these subscribers. And my new channel that I want to transform this channel into is going to be all about AI. I like to talk about AI on my Jennifer Marie VO channel, but I don't want every single video I create to be about that because I talk about many different things. So if I can transform this channel into a channel that's just about AI, I still think that many of these subscribers will be interested in it because there are many different design tools that are AI tools and it's kind of in the same niche. Another thing I want to show you, if I click on my profile icon and I click on YouTube Studio, we're going to see my analytics. So this channel is not monetized yet. It doesn't have enough watch time in the past year. And to monetize your channel, you need to meet certain metrics. If you click here on earn, if I scroll down, you can see that there are two different requirements. You have to get at least a thousand subscribers, which I've done. But then the more difficult thing is you have to have 4,000 public watch hours total in the last year or 10 million public shorts views. So obviously I'm a long way from reaching that 4,000, but I already do have the subscriber count. And I don't want to erase my videos, especially if you have a lot of public watch hours because that can count towards you reaching the 4,000 with your new channel. So if you are rebranding your channel, don't erase or hide your videos because you want those public watch hours to count or the public shorts views to count with your new channel. So if you think that you can convince your old audience to still be interested in your new brand, then rebranding is a good idea. However, if your niche is completely different, 
you might lose a lot of subscribers. So it's a good idea to choose a niche that is somewhat related to your original niche. So now we're going to talk about how we can use AI tools to create our new brand. First of all, we're going to use ChatGPT. Now you may decide you want to keep your original channel name or you might want to change your channel name. So you can use ChatGPT to give you ideas. I wanna rebrand my YouTube channel, can you help me come up with a new channel name? So then just go through and let ChatGPT be your guide to creating your new brand. So you can see here, I told them that my new channel is going to be all about AI. I wanna talk about AI tools, news, and futuristic technology, and they've given us some channel name ideas. I said, create 10 more name ideas using Studio AI, and you can see they've come up with some more ideas for us. Now, another tool we can use is the new Bing chat, which I did a video on, and I'll link you to that in the description below. And one thing that's really amazing about Bing is I went on to Bing yesterday and said, I wanna rebrand my YouTube channel, can you help me? They asked me what my channel was about. I said, the name is Studio Gen, I wanna keep the name, but I want to change the channel into a fun tech AI themed channel. And then automatically, they decided to create a logo for me. And some of these are just amazing. So let's start from scratch and I can click here on more creative and I'm going to say, design me a logo for an AI channel. Then put in the name of your channel. I wanna say I want it to be futuristic, AI, purple and, or blue color scheme. So you can see the style of these are quite cool. However, the text isn't great so far. So I'm going to say, create a logo do not include text. I want the logo to be futuristic, AI themed, purple, blue. Okay, so some of these are pretty cool. I actually really like these. Um, I really like this one. I think this is awesome. I love the colors. So to download that, just click here on download. And so now what we're going to do is create a brand board for free. So to create our brand board, we're going to use Canva and you can do this with the Canva free plan. If you don't have Canva, you can sign up for free using the link in the description below. So here we're going to type in brand board and press enter. So this is going to give us some brand board templates. And if you don't have the pro account, just choose one of these that you like that does not have this little icon here. And what we're going to do is plug in our own logo, our own color scheme, and use this as a base for any time you're creating a thumbnail or something like that for your YouTube channel. So this one here is free. It's a brand board by Lisa Jane. I'm gonna click on this one here, and then I'm going to click customize this template. So essentially what we're going to do is plug in our new brand into this with our own color palette, the fonts that we want to use. So what I'm going to do is go over here on uploads. I'm going to click upload files and we're going to upload the logo that we just created using Bing. So now I'm going to click on that logo to add it here and you can go ahead and erase the old logo. We're gonna add in our new logo and down here under color palette, we're going to put in the colors of our brand. So what you can do is click on one of these squares then click here on color then click here, add a new color, and go ahead and choose whatever colors you like. So let's say I want my brand colors to be this turquoise color here. You can copy this code, Control C, and then paste that here, Control V. And what's great about doing this is that after we create our brand board, anytime you are creating a thumbnail or some sort of graphic for your brand or for your YouTube channel, you can very easily come back to this brand board or to the PDF file that we're going to export and just copy the code and use that for that color. So go ahead, do that for all the colors of your brand. So once you've finished putting all your colors for your brand, you can go down here and choose whatever fonts that you want. And this is a great source for you to be able to see what the fonts look like and choose your primary font and your secondary font. So you can just click here and go through and Canva has many different fonts that you might like to use. Um, you can see here, there's a lot of really cool futuristic fonts. So you'd put here the name of the font. And then this is just gonna show you what the font looks like in uppercase and lowercase letters. So let's just change that one to this font. And then here we have the numbers, we'll change that. So once you're finished putting in your fonts, 
You can scroll down to the bottom here and you might put in some graphics or some elements that you like or that you might want to use in your channel art. And up here you can add in your channel name. You could see that I have used these fonts. If you have Canva Pro, you can click on your image, click edit photo, background remover if you want to remove this background and just keep the logo. But there are many different free tools that you can use to remove the background as well. So now to download this brand board, just click share, click download, and then here we're gonna download it as a PDF standard and then click download. And why we want to export this as a PDF file is that we can just copy these codes if we want to use this color or this one when we're creating our thumbnails. And so this is just a great resource to have. So the next thing we want to do is create our YouTube banner. So here you can type in YouTube banner and that will give us a bunch of different templates that we can use. So let's say this one here, this is a free template. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on customize this template. So here I'm going to fill in my own information. So of course my channel is called Studio Gen. I'm gonna put in at the top here, AI news, technology, and you can refer back to your own brand board to choose your fonts. I'm going to erase this little icon here and erase this again, I don't wanna use this. And I wanna put my logo here. So you can upload your logo or you can just go back to your brand board within Canva click on the logo, right click copy, and then right click paste or control V. And we've got our logo here. And we can go ahead and change the color scheme. So we can click on the background and change the color of it if you want. Now this has a picture of this girl, so I don't want that at all. I'm just going to click delete and delete again. And then you can put in your own background or your own cool color scheme by clicking on background color then click here on add a new color. We can even do gradient and we can do different gradient colors using our brand board. So you can play around with this until you are happy with it. Now I have created a different brand board uh, for my Studio Gen channel, all using AI. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is the brand board I came up with. I created this avatar using AI and then created this image also using AI. Now, if you are interested in learning how to do something like this using an AI avatar and expanding on it, let me know in the comment section. I did use some paid tools for this. And here is my Studio Gen banner. I created this using Canva and also using Adobe Gen Fill. So once you are ready to download your banner, just click share, then click download, and then download it as a PNG file and click download again. So now we're ready to upload all of this stuff and our logo into our channel itself. So you're going to go to your channel and then you're going to click here on customize channel. And this is going to bring us to the YouTube creator studio. So now we're going to click here on branding. And under picture, we're going to upload our new profile picture. So you can upload the logo that we created on Bing, a picture of yourself, whatever you want. So click change and then add your own. So it's going to be a circle icon. So you can adjust it as you like, if you want it to be something like that, or just keep it the full thing and then click done. Okay, and now it's time to change our banner image. So again, click change, upload your banner. And you can see in the template that we created with Canva, the primary rectangle is what is viewable on all devices. So make sure that all your text and everything fits into this primary rectangle. This is what will be viewable on the desktop and this is what's viewable on the TV. So just make sure that this contains all your information and click done. Then you can put in your video watermark. I also have a video on how to do this. It could be a little subscribe button if you want and we're going to click publish. Okay, and now we can click on basic info and this is where you would change your name. So you could change your channel name and your channel handle. So I'm going to keep this as Studio Gen, but if you wanted to change it, you could do that and then click publish. You also will want to put in a description of your channel and then you can add in any links if you have social media or anything here and an email if you want viewers to be able to contact you with business inquiries. So once you've done that, you can click 
publish. So here is what my new channel looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the only thing I want to do now before I start uploading new content with this new brand is take all of these playlists and just put all of my videos in one single playlist because this is a different color scheme from my new color scheme of purple and this tone of pink. So what I'm going to do is click here on Customize Channel and here under Featured Sections, I'm going to erase all of these single playlists. I'm gonna click here on Options, Remove Section, here, remove section, here, remove section, and then I'm going to click publish. So now when I click go to channel, it just has my featured channels here and my videos are here under videos. But I would like to put a playlist with my old content here before I start adding in my new content. So I'm going to click here on playlist. Then I'm going to choose the playlist I have that has the most videos. So I'm gonna choose this one here, click view full playlist, and I'm going to add my other videos to this playlist. So I'm going to click on this icon here and add any videos that are not in this playlist. So just click on the ones you want to add and then click add videos. If you've accidentally added double, you can delete one by just clicking on this icon here and click remove. So now what you can do is rename the playlist. So you could even put original content or something and then save. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to our channel. We'll click on customize channel. And here under featured sections, we'll click add section. And I'm going to click single playlist and choose the playlist that we just created. And then you can adjust it where you want it. So I can make that at the top of my channel or under my featured channels and then click publish and let's go to our channel. And there you have it. So now I would start to add my new content for my new brand and I would create new playlists that go along with my new brand of Studio Jen. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section and make sure to subscribe to Studio Gen if you want to see the kinds of tutorials I'm going to be releasing on my AI themed channel as well. Also, let me know in the comment section if you would like an in-depth tutorial on how to create a custom banner art like this with an AI avatar. Uh, I would be more than happy to show you guys how I did this as well. Thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.